Hey guys, welcome back to the Subscriber World Cup for the month of May. Now, before we get into this, before we get into this, before you skip the intros and stuff and find out what your where your teams have come and everything, because I know you guys do that, I just need to make an important announcement about the next Subscriber World Cup in June because it's changing just for that month to celebrate the fact that we got 3,000 subscribers. Now, it's going to be different in the fact that your entries uh, won't matter in June. So anything you put down in this video is for July. So if you put a nation down, that is for July because I'm going to replace it in, in June with something slightly different. It's still going to be a Subscriber World Cup and you're still going to be able to follow teams. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sooner or later upload a f uh, image to the community tab on my channel and it will have... 32 select teams, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to simulate part of it, which is the group stage, and you guys can pick who you want to win and stuff like that. And then whoever gets to the knockout stages, we're going to watch those games in real time so that, you know, it's just, it's sort of like a test sort of thing. It's like a test to see if it'll work, if people find it interesting and stuff. So for July, Put your nations down for July. This is so anything you put in the comment section this time round is for July, okay? June is operated by me. And don't worry, I will put in some interesting teams to watch in there. It's not going to be your usual teams in the World Cup. I'll put like 16 big teams in there and 16 little teams in there. And you guys can head on to the community tab when I put that up, the image up. And you can pick whatever team you wish to follow. Because I reckon that if we can watch those knockout games in real time, I think it would be really cool and I think it would hype us up a little bit more for the World Cup. Today, subscribe to World Cup for May and um, we are are doing a double subscriber world cup because we got basically like a hundred entries pretty much um, most of them were double entries and stuff but yeah a hundred entries that's the most i've ever had i don't know what's going on with this channel it just keeps growing and growing even though i literally just play world cup games and you guys are just like yeah I like that. Okay, so we're going to read out the names. Um, remember this with double subscriber World Cups, we'll do this one and then the 16 eliminated teams will drop into the second chance World Cup, um, which will be after this one. So there's t there'll be two winners in this one. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's read out the names quickly. So Denmark is Sylvester uh, 15. North Korea is uh, Haven 1, Palomo and uh, Gra Gra Graben? Graben, yeah. Uh, that's a triple entry. Romania is a double entry. Uh, Catalin, Vizan and Mario Maroquin. Scotland is Stuart for Live. Uh, in Group B, we have Belgium, which is the King of Freedom. Brazil is a double entry. Daniel does not know how to kick a ball. And uh, Savic Pe Pekovic, sorry. Yeah, I can't read, dude. Um... Ireland is a uh, Grookey for Smash and a Democratic Republic of Congo is a double entry. That's Yuan Yuan and um, Tanya Kunohan. And um, in Group C, we have Canada, which is a double entry. Wasabi 1982 1 and Cutter Historical. Cook Islands is KMS 548. Uh, we have Malaysia, which is another double entry. Um, we got Lee Francis and Mass Football TV. Senegal was also a double entry. Uh, Adam Levin and Samoth. And Group D, we have basically the big boys. Uh, Netherlands was a double entry. CA Traveller NG and Conman. Italy was actually a triple entry. Alfie Wheeler, Madman E and Corey Warburton. France, Uda Nabani and Ryubix. And Portugal, Chris... Gian Grama. In Group E, we have Kazakhstan represented by XP Rewarder Elite, Luxembourg represented by Seb Coventry Gaming, Tim Lester represented by Patriotic Man, and Vanuatu was a double entry between Horatio YouTube, sorry, and Random Potato. I really can't read today, honestly. I think I'm just tired or something. Um, group F, we have Poland, C4 goes boom. Iceland, René Fastenau, Algeria, Angel Vasquez, and Nigeria, Ryan Bromhead. Group G, we have Croatia, Fintan 9, Ivory Coast, U, Norway, um, C, Cesare, I guess, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Um, and Northern Ireland, Mr. Peanuts. 
uh, Iran was um, Lorenz Peppersalt, Venezuela, Unanimel, Latvia, Matson, and Colombia, DJ Umbenga. So if you didn't get in in the first one, you will most certainly be in the second one. So yeah, I mean, watch as much or as little as the video as you want until you find your nation or something. But I am following Kazakhstan, and let's get into this. Let's simulate this whole thing and see what happens in this one. I really hope that you guys still enjoy the Subscriber World Cup and I hope that you guys are looking forward to the changes that are happening in June. If it's successful in June, then we'll do another one before the World Cup around about, well, I guess in November or December or something, I don't know, um, to really celebrate the World Cup. So, um, as I said, we are following Kazakhstan, we're not playing as them obviously, you know the drill, and you know who you are by now, so let's simulate the matches then. So Kazakhstan versus Luxembourg, that's simulated, who will win that one? It was a 1-1 draw, that's pretty fair to be honest, and then you've got Kazakhstan versus Timor Leste, uh, let's simulate that one and find out who wins this one. Kazakhstan win 2-0, okay. And then we got Vanuatu versus Kazakhstan. A battle for those top two places. Let's see what happens between them two. Uh, Kazakhstan won 2-0, okay. So we get to find out who is in the next round. I'm just going to skip that really quickly. Right, we're here with the groups. And um, in Group A, we have Scotland and Romania going through in that one. Denmark missing out by just a point and North Korea going home in this one. Like I said, you all know who you are, so um, we're just going to keep rolling with this. Group B, we have Belgium with five points, Brazil with five points, Ireland missing out, and Democratic Republic of Congo missing out as well. In Group C, we have Senegal dominating that group, Canada as well just behind them, Malaysia and the Cook Islands go out in that one. In Group D, which is arguably the biggest one, Portugal and the Netherlands go through in that group. Italy and France crash out in that one. Group E, we have Kazakhstan and Vanuatu going through in that one. Luxembourg and Timor-Leste go home. Uh, group F, we have Nigeria and Poland going through. Algeria and Iceland going out. Group G, we have Ivory Coast and Norway going through in that one. Northern Ireland missing out by a point, and Croatia going home with only two points. That's arguably one of the biggest disappointments of the group, I'd probably say. You would have tipped Croatia to go through in that one. And in Group H, we have Iran and Colombia going through in that one. Venezuela missing out on goal difference, I presume, and Latvia going home as well. So, on to the knockouts, and Scotland versus Brazil. Senegal versus Netherlands, Belgium versus Romania, uh, Portugal versus Canada, Kazakhstan versus Poland, Ireland versus Colombia, Nigeria versus Vanuatu, and Iran versus Norway. So there's another potential for a new team to win this World Cup. Especially on that right hand side there, there's a lot of interesting entries on the right hand side. I have a feeling this is where Kazakhstan's campaign is going to come to an end unless something amazing happens in this simulation and then it will probably simulate all the way to the end. Let's find out if that is true. Uh, yeah, it is true. Uh, we all called it, I, I imagine. So let's simulate all the way to the end and find out who wins it. I know that the Brazil and um, the Netherlands were on the other side of the tree. So I reckon one of those two would probably win the World Cup just because the teams on the right-hand side were slightly weaker. But let's simulate and find out. Let Here we go. Uh, oh, it was Belgium who won it. Okay, that's that's different. Definitely different. And Belgium was represented by one person, and that was King of Freedom. So congratulations to you. You won the first Subscriber World Cup of this video, and um, you did it with Belgium, which is a little bit different, I'd say. They're not... Uh, on 2014, they were starting to become a beast team. But, of course, when we had so many big teams in that subscriber world cup um you know you did well to fight them off so congratulations to you the simulation went in your favor and netherlands came second that was represented by ca traveler ng and conman so commiserations i guess but also congratulations for reaching the final and coming second we just need to round off these results in this first Subscriber World Cup. So, reading left down, we have Poland beating Kazakhstan 1-0, Ivory Coast beating Colombia 
2-1. We have Scotland just narrowly losing against Brazil. Then um, the Netherlands beating Senegal 1-0. Poland beat Ivory Coast 2-1. Then the Netherlands knocked out Brazil 1-0. And then the Netherlands went on to beat Poland 1-0. Then Poland went on to win the third place playoff against Norway. So our third place playoff winner was C4 Goes Boom. Congratulations to you. You come third. And fourth was Norway, which is a little bit of a strange one, I guess. Congratulations for getting all the way to fourth place. And that was Cesare. So congratulations to you also. So that's your top four. So just rounding off the last results then. Nigeria beat Vanuatu 3-0. Norway beat Iran 1-0. Belgium beat Romania 3-0 and then Portugal beat Canada 4-1. We have Norway beating Nigeria 2-1 in the quarterfinals. Belgium beating Portugal 2-1 and then Belgium went on to beat Norway 2-0 and then Belgium went on to win the World Cup. Whereas Norway went on to lose the third place playoff. So that was your first subscriber World Cup. So that's your four set of top four winners. So we have to get on with the second one now. So come and join me for that one. All right, guys, we're back here with the second chance subscriber World Cup. So I'm only going to read out the 16 teams that I've added and the participants that missed out on the first one. So here we go, just quickly. Czech Republic is Ansa and CSK. KO508. Morocco was a double entry also with FB7 Games and Jack Buzaglo. Um, China, represented by Comrade. Germany was a triple entry, Patrick Mealy, uh, C. Eaton, and Dennis. Uh, Spain was Retro Sports Gaming. Guyana uh, was uh, Mr. Krabs. Wales was a double entry, Ryan Brown and uh, Soccer Canal. Uh, Austria was De Sica. Kenya was Epsi, Ethiopia, no salad, uh, Cyprus was Wasteland Wanderer, Bulgaria was Zero, Australia represented by FH Gaming, England represented by Daniel Harding, and uh, Switzerland represented by Fabian Way, and Egypt represented by Michael Odunga. So they're the 16 people. The other 16 people obviously were eliminated in the first one and they carry over to the second chance subscriber world cup so we've got some big teams in here but we've also got some little teams that fe fell out of contention in the first one and as usual i am following someone and i'm following italy because i want to see how far they can get in this one we got italy versus england some really big matchups and as usual, we're going to simulate the matchups and see how far Italy get in this one. So, Italy simulated, lost 2 0 against England. Not a good start. Okay. Um, the next match is against Germany. What's going to happen here? Uh, simulate that one. And uh, Germany won 2 0. So, Italy are already out already. That's a horrendous campaign for Italy in this one. Simulate against Spain, and Italy have been eliminated. Wow, this has been a quick second chance of Scriber World Cup but the good thing is we'll find out the winner and see how it went down before anything else so we're going to simulate the rest of the tournament and find out the winner here we go seeing a lot of names in there and it's England in the final 1-0 against Germany and that was a pretty close one and um, you kind of knew a big team was going to win that because there was a lot of big teams in that second chance subscriber world cup so england was represented by daniel harding so congratulations to you you've won your first subscriber world cup i believe i don't think i've ever seen your name pop up on this channel so congratulations you know you picked england and yes you know picking a five star team is an easy route to the final i know a lot of you like to pick the smaller teams and try and break through you know do an absolute leicester and try and win the world cup with them one day it will happen you know we simulate this game so many times and uh, germany came second that was represented by three people patrick mealy c eaton and dennis so uh, commiserations or congratulations to you however you want to take those ones all right so let's just quickly check the group stage before we wrap this video up so in Group A, Congo DR and North Korea went through in that one. Timor Leicester missing out on goal difference. 
Group B, we have Wales and Denmark going through in that one. Australia and Northern Ireland going out. Group C, Croatia and Cyprus going through. Egypt going home in that one. Group D, Ethiopia and the Cook Islands going through. Group E, France and Switzerland going through. Ireland just missing out on goal difference. Uh, group F, we have Venezuela and Iceland going through. China missing out on goal difference. Group G, England and Germany going through in that one. Italy and Spain going home. There had to be some casualties in that group. And in Group H, we have Austria and the Czech Republic going through in that one. Bulgaria and Latvia going home. Now let's check out the round of 16 and wrap this whole video up. So, France beat Iceland 4-1. England beat the Czech Republic 1-0. Denmark beat Democratic Republic of Congo 2-1. Croatia beat Cook Islands 5-1. Then we have England beating France 1-0. Croatia beating Denmark 2-1. Then Croatia narrowly lost to England 2-1. Then England went on to win the final, of course. But Croatia came third and that was represented by uh, Fintan. So, uh, Fintan 9, sorry. So congratulations to you. You came third in the second chance subscriber World Cup. Well done to you. Um, Croatia, of course, a really good World Cup nation. And uh, yeah, great, great pick. And fourth, most notably, I guess, is Wales. Wales went all the way to the third place playoff, only losing narrowly to Croatia. Wales was represented by a double entry, Ryan Brown and Soccer Canal. Congratulations to you guys for reaching fourth. And just to finish us off, on the right hand side we have Switzerland beating Venezuela 3-0, Germany beating Austria 2-1, Wales beating North Korea 2-0, Ethiopia beating Cyprus 3-0, wow, okay. Um, then Germany beating uh, Switzerland 2-1, Wales beating Ethiopia 3-1 and then Germany just squeezing by Wales 2-1 and then obviously both those teams lost their last match. So that was your big massive subscriber World Cup and it's only going to get bigger next month. Tune in for that. Um, I will put up a post on the community tab with the 32 uh, teams that we're going to watch. Of course, we're not going to watch the group stages. I'm going to simulate those and then the knockout stages will be watched and commentated over by myself. I really hope that you guys will enjoy that and um, I think it mixes up the subscriber world cup a little bit more because I feel like we're going to get some interesting matches and it will hype you guys up for the upcoming world cup. But please put your entries down for July because we're still going to do this in July and um, yeah I really want you guys to enjoy this and enjoy the content and that. Obviously I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit. So this has been Toba Loco. If you have enjoyed this video then give it a like, subscribe, put your entries down for July. Keep it local as always and I'll see you again for the next video.